<clears throat> All right, hey, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Happy Monday to ya. I have uh, I have about 2,000 and a half things to do today. So we're gonna be running all over the place and running errands. In fact, I, I don't even have my mod. I left my mod in the car. I'm talking about the Asmodus Minikin 3 today. Yeah, definitely, uh, I definitely left this in my car. I was out running errands, which I'm still doing now. Minikin 3, what did I say, Monstor tank? Honestly, been vaping really well. This Minikin V3 is a real, I don't know, I gotta drive here. It's a real weird shape. It's one of those mods that I can't really tell if it's ergonomic or not. Sometimes it feels really ergonomic and sometimes it doesn't. And look at this fucking guy. Get out, get out of the intersection. Get out of the intersection. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I've been using the Minikin 3 for a few weeks now. And it's like I said earlier, one of those mods I can't really tell if it's super comfortable or not, if it's even ergonomic or not. If I hold it in my right hand, kind of does one of these and I, I hit the button with my finger here. If I hold it in my left hands, that's when, it's, it's basically the same idea. Just hold it in my left hand, press it, kind of just put the fulcrum of my thumb right on the button. Hold it like this. You can kind of hold it like a badminton racket. I don't know why I get so obsessed with ergonomics. It's just something I do get obsessed with, especially when I see a mod like this that's kind of like a peculiar shape. It's kind of flattened and like teardrop shaped and the buttons on the on the side, you can kind of hold it like this, maybe hit it with your finger. You kind of hold it like this, maybe hit it with your finger. Like I said, this is the Blitz Monster. Should we go outside? Let's go outside. Ah, sunny Southern California. So like I said, this was the this is the Monster tank from Blitz Enterprises, and I have it at a small, it's too long of a story to tell, you can swap out the AFC and it changes the bottom of your tank completely, the diameter of it. I have it on one of the smaller ones, which is about 25 millimeters, and it is flush to the edge of this Minikin. I don't think you could fit anything bigger than a 25 millimeter atomizer on here. Before I was running my Recoil Rebel on here, which was 25 millimeters, and same thing, just, com just comes right to the edge. So, I don't know, it's not necessarily like a con, just something to be aware of, especially if you use like bigger, bigger atomizers. I know there's large swaths of people out there that use real big atomizers, 30 millimeter and up atomizers. If you're one of those people, uh, the Minikin 3 is not for you. Should we just see if it's waterproof real fast? Ah! Oh no, why would I do that? No, I'm, are you crazy? Okay, it's too hot out here. The Minikin 3 is also uh, a touchscreen device, which a lot of uh, the Minikin Asmodus products have been. You kind of have to swipe down. And when you swipe down, there's just a little icon in the corner. It's a little lock. And it goes from a locked icon to an unlocked icon. Once your icon is unlocked, you tap the wattage. And you can just adjust the wattage up and down on the screen. They give you two like little uh, buttons right here. Unfortunately, like fake fake buttons. They're not a tactile button, so there's no like click or anything like that. The Minikin 3 includes like haptic feedback, so when you're vaping, and it happened to me the other night, and your batteries are too low, it'll give you a little vibrate in your hand. I was vaping, and it was consistent power, and then it vibrated and was like, hey, you don't have enough power in your batteries to get up to 85 watts. Zzz, turned off. I would love that little haptic buzz to happen when you're adjusting the wattage up and down. I think that would just be such a cool feature. It's already in the mod. I don't know why they don't implement it that way. It does adjust in one watt increments, which is kind of just my favorite, favorite thing of all time. But when you're done, I'm gonna leave it at 66 watts. You just press the button, goes back to the main screen. You vape it. One other weird little feature that the Minikin 3 has is to change the color of the screen, they say to shake it viciously. 
viciously. You're definitely not gonna be able to see this. I'll try to take some pictures of it, but when you shake it viciously, and you do have to shake it viciously, you can change the color of the screen. That's the point of shaking it viciously. Right now, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's a little bit of like a blue color. If I shake it viciously, now it's, now it's all white, and so that's, uh, shake it viciously. Now it kind of turned like a, a yellower color. You can't really see it. I don't know. Just pick a color and leave it on there. The Minikin 3 and 3S, which is a completely different mod. That's the one I don't have right now. I just have the Minikin 3. But the 3S has some additional features like a fingerprint sensor as well as a password like passcode lock type of thing on your mod. If you have young ones around and you don't want them touching your vape stuff, you can put a password on it. Or if you just, you know, if you have friends around and you don't want them touching your vape shit, just, just put your password on there. But what I was gonna say is they both come with a, uh, they both come with a little charger thing. Yeah, here it is. This, I brought this along with me because I wanna try this out. I haven't tried charging it on this yet. But the idea is that this is just like a little, uh, like you would put your phone on, like your Android phone or your iPhone. You just set it down on there, you line up the little spots, and, and it'll charge. So, we're gonna give this a try. God. So this is it. This is just your weird little base. It has a USB, which means it has to go into a USB, which means I can't just plug this into the wall, which means I can't use this right now. Oh wait, yes I can. Aha, see I was a little bit more prepared than I thought I was. So the idea is this is supposed to just kind of sit on your desktop, like it's just a little, it's just a little pad. There's three little pins right here, and those pins need to line up with the pins on the mod. Little pins on the mod, you set it right here. Skadoosh, should be charging it. Yep, that is, uh, that's definitely charging it. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It kind of seems like a cool thing. It seems like a cool feature. I might rather just like to charge my 18650s outside of the mod. But honestly, at the end of the day, Asmodus, they make reliable stuff. All their devices I've ever had have always been really reliable. I had multiple Minikin V1s and multiple Minikin V2s. In fact, I had a V-God Minikin V2 that was like my favorite regulated mod for quite a while. They're just real reliable and real consistent. I've had zero, I mean, zero issues with this. It just works. So they say that the Minikin 3 uses the GX200 UTC chip on the inside. I find it to be real responsive, real powerful. The one thing that this chip does, and I don't know if Minikin or Minikin, I don't know if Asmodus has been using this chip for a real long time, but it shows you your battery sag in real time. And if you don't have enough power in your batteries to get to that wattage, it's just going to cut off. So the last thing I wanted to mention was they have a weird little warning on their website regarding that wireless charger. They have in here bold letters that says, we still recommend that this charging option is not the main method used for replenishing your 18650 cells. An external intelligent charger will always be safer, faster, and overall more efficient means of charging your cells. It's interesting to me that they would release a product like that, which it's sold separately by the way. It's weird that they would release that and then recommend that you don't use it. Let's play the aliens game. Let's actually play brass tacks vape budget hands first. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Minikin 3 from Asmodus. Not really, it's about 80 bucks, which I mean, yeah, that's that's pricey. It's under a hundred dollars. It's eighty dollars. It's a little bit of a vape budget hands territory. This room is really echoey. Where would be less echoey on the stairs? So let's let's wrap this up. I apologize for rambling so long. Aliens game, right? Aliens come and take everything I have, and I have nothing left to vape. Is the Minikin three something I'm going to seek out and buy right away? Here's the thing. Probably not. 
I like Asmodus, and I like the Asmodus Minikins. The Minikin 2, I think, was the superior Minikin. This has a lot of features that don't really speak to me. It's got full custom TCR suite. It's got temperature control on there. I just use it for power. It vibrates. The, the, the S version of this has a fingerprint scanner and a password, which that doesn't really appeal to me either. They do have that external charger that doesn't really appeal to me. And then they themselves said that you probably shouldn't use it regularly for charging your 18650 batteries. That's just such a weird thing to say, especially, like I said, their own product. So no, I don't think I'd be jumping all over the Minikin 3, but it is like the best version, most best updatedest version of the Minikin. If you are in the market for a new dual 18650 regulated mod that's gonna give you plenty of power and comes with a whole slew of features, the Minikin 3 could be what you're looking for. Honestly, I might even go back so far as to look at like the Minikin 1. That's a regulated mod that honestly still holds up and could probably be found for a lot cheaper than $80. Anyway, that's all I got for today, everybody. Links are not in the description, so you're gonna have to use that Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching, even amongst the chaos. I really appreciate it. And as always, let's keep on vaping, even, in, even on the stairs. It's actually a little bit convenient being able to shoot video in the car just because LA has so much traffic that I could just sit here for five, ten minutes at a time and just shoot, shoot video. We're, we're going nowhere. We are going no, ah, ah. Oh, well, we kind of moved there for a little bit. Real exciting. I, ha I have time to vape, I think.